So when we are talking about photosynthesis process, we know that they are making carbohydrates. The plant is preparing their food in the form of carbohydrates and they are storing this for carbohydrate in the form of starch into the leaves. So if we want to check the presence of starch into the leaves then now here we are using iodine. Now iodine is a substance which will give a taste in presence of starch. So it is also termed as an indicator. Indicator means it will indicate the presence of something. So when we are using iodine as an indicator, it will indicate the presence of starch which is present into the leaves. So how they are indicating us that when we are adding a few drops of starch on the leaves, it will show blue or black color patches on the leaves. So this is the indication for starch presence into the leaves. If we can see blue and black color patches on the leaves, that means starch is present in those leaves. So with the help of iodine, we are going to perform this activity and let us understand through diagram that how we are checking the presence of starch in the leaves. Now to check the presence of starch into the leaves, we are using iodine and iodine as we have discussed, it is the indicator. Indicator means it will indicate the presence of some substance is something like this. We are choosing two plants, two potted plants that plant A and B. One we are keeping it under sunlight and other one we are keeping it into the dark for 72 hours. So this plant won't be able to do any photosynthesis, won't be able to generate any food material which is which will be as a result of photosynthesis. Now the plant which we have kept into the sunlight that is plant A and the plant which we have kept into the dark that is plant B. So after some time, after we are keeping it into the sunlight, after some time we are doing iodine test. So what we are doing is we are pouring two to three drops of iodine on the leaves and as we can see it will give us blue and black patches on the leaves. That means there is a presence of starch into this leaf. Now why there is a presence of starch? Because we have kept this potted plant into the sunlight. Air plant have done the photosynthesis process and they have made carbohydrates and stored carbohydrates in the form of starch. So we got this blue and black patches on the leaves which in turn they are confirming that plant has done photosynthesis process in the presence of sunlight. Now the plant B which we have kept in the dark for 72 hours we are adding some of the iodine drops on the leaves and they will not show any color. They will not show any blue and black patches on the leaf. So that means there will be no presence of any starch because plant has not done any photosynthesis process. Plant has not made any food. Without, photos, without photosynthesis, they cannot make food and for the photosynthesis we require sunlight. So there is an absence of starch here. Why? Because we have kept the plant in dark. Now the same plant, plant B, we are keeping it into the sunlight. And after some time we are performing the iodine taste on plant B. So it will also show the blue and black patches. That means after keeping the plant in the sunlight, they will make a food, they will made carbohydrate and they have stored starch into the leaf. And here we can see the presence of starch. So earlier the same plant, we have kept it in a dark. It did not show any presence of starch. After some time we have kept it in a sunlight and after that it has shown presence of starch. We can see here blue and black color patches. That means in presence of sunlight they are making food. Without sunlight they cannot make food. And food means they are making carbohydrates and they are storing in the form of starch. Now as we know that chlorophyll is a pigment which will absorb the sunlight. And chlorophyll is green color pigment which is present into the leaves. Now some of the leaves as you can see into the figure some of the leaves are having some different colors. So will they be able to perform 
photosynthesis process without chlorophyll so the leaves other than green color also have chlorophyll the large amount of red brown and other pigments mask the green color so they do have chlorophyll but some other color pigments are very high the amount of other color pigments are high in this leaves so green color pigment got masked into this leaves so that's why we are not able to see otherwise the chlorophyll is present into this leaves so photosynthesis take place in these leaves also now comes algae we all know about algae and they also have chlorophyll which gives them green color algae can also prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis as you can see into the picture in a stagnant water and where the water will be collected and sunlight is there we can see this green color patches and we term this plants as algae Thank you.